Hey guys, this is Zach Daniel, and I'm here playing Super Meat Boy. I'm just kind of stressed out right now because I've tried recording a number of videos, getting tons of glitches and uh, recording problems, so I figured I would just kind of relax with a game that I know I like. Um, you know, FTL, tried playing that, and uh, it erased... It erased the second part of that last episode I did, so I'm kind of upset about that. I'm trying to do a couple other videos, and it's just not going well. So I figured I'd just unwind with a little SMB. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what Super Meat Boy is, it's a game made by Team Meat, which is uh, Edmund McMillan and Tommy Rafanez, if I'm saying his name correctly, which I'm sure I'm not. Um, it was featured, uh, their, well, their design process and development was featured in the uh, indie game movie. You can find that all over the internet, so you should go watch that. It's a very fascinating movie, uh, and it's how I became familiar with Super Meat Boy. So yeah, I'm just kind of having a hard time recording stuff, uh, just a little discouraged right now. So, this is a fun little pick-me-up. Also wondering uh, if anybody's even watching my videos, which, you know, it's no big deal. I'm having fun either way. I'm, I'm doing it for me. Because, you know, it is relaxing when it goes well. It, and it's fun. There goes my first death. Um, yeah, so I'm doing it for me. Um, but it would be nice if more than, like, one person was viewing, you know, my Thomas Was Alone series. So that's a little discouraging, especially because Thomas Was Alone. I mean, I feel like that's the type of game that everyone should, if they're not buying it and playing it, at least once, they should at least watch someone else play it so they can, you know, see the great story that you can make out of video games. Video games are so much more than just, you know, running around killing things. Avoiding death as I am here. Uh, you know, there's a story, there's a heart to video games, and not a lot of people, I think, see that. I think some people just see video games as this childish and unintellectual, no heart, uh, invalid form of entertainment. And, you know, and yet there's so much more art to it than in, you know, a typical movie or TV show. Um, and as he says that, he splatters into a shower of blood multiple times. Um, but, truly, I mean, Thomas Was Alone, I think, is just such a beautiful game. And my first episode, One View. One person viewed it. It was probably me when I was testing the quality by, you know, watching it on my phone. And it's just discouraging. So I'm just kind of taking a break from any of that sort of thing. And I don't want to say this is a guilty pleasure. Because it's, you know, it's a fun game. I guess I'm calling it a guilty pleasure because... I feel like everybody and their brother have recorded Let's Plays of this game. So, like, I don't expect anyone to watch this. Uh, I don't know why anyone would watch this. It's, you know, there are much more skilled people at Super Meat Boy than me. Um, although I have gotten the, uh, what is it, Wood Boy, I believe, is the achievement you get for completing this whole chapter without a single death. I have done that. Which I'm pretty proud of. So I'm just kind of turning my brain off now, having a good time. Alright, so we did that. Let's go through the Dark World. Um, I think that's just such a brilliant mechanic with Super Meat Boy, by the way, is... It's not just the regular world, they take the regular world and then throw in a bunch of saws, basically, and other obstacles. Give it a whole different art style. Very dark and... challenging. I've thought about, like, getting really good at this game at one point. 
you know, speed running style good, but <laughs> it almost feels more like work than fun at that point. This is just fun. I don't mind dying. Love the levels with the silhouettes. Very pretty. I mean, anybody, you know, who was it? Um, Roger Ebert. Loved Roger Ebert, his, his philosophies and views on movies and stuff like that were just thrilling, top notch. And yet, the man goes and he fights tooth and nail trying to convince people that video games are not art, and I just don't understand that. Look at these colors. You're telling me that it doesn't take an artist to, to know that, like, these are beautiful colors. They go well together. They've been constructed in such a way that I couldn't make, you know, anything this beautiful. You know, I, I understand people thinking, you know, the blood is a little bit much, but, you know, you get past that and you see there's really something special here. In both the gameplay, which you really have to play it to get it, and just the art. You don't need to play it to see that Super Meat Boy is just like a, an awesome looking game just from a color and composition point of view. Whoa! Oh, man. It's been so long since I played this game, especially the hell levels. Uh, okay. I think what I'm going to try to do... Yep, there we go. Oh, man. So yeah, Eliana's napping right now, which is nice. That's the other thing that was kind of frustrating me, is she's not feeling well, and I just, I feel so bad for her. Just this beautiful little eight-month-old baby girl, and she's sniffling and coughing and having a terrible time, and it just breaks my heart. So she's napping, and uh, hopefully dreaming of beautiful peacefulness and not being sick in her dreams. Um, I used to be good at this game, by the way. Like, I was, I promise. I'm taking like really cheap long routes around these levels. What else is going on? I knew I shouldn't have done that. My wife's on her way home. She'll probably uh, get home any minute now, at which point I'll probably call it quits for this video. Oh, oh, there we go. She went shopping for baby clothes, which I thought was going to be boring as heck when, you know, when we found out we were having a baby. I'm like, oh, clothes shopping. I hate clothes shopping, but like for a baby, it is honestly so much fun. There's so many adorable things for little baby girls. And I, I really do enjoy it when I go clothes shopping for my daughter. So that's where Liz is right now. Well, she's on her way back, at least. Ooh. Forgot about that. Oh, ooh, so close. And that was silly. Nope. I gotta do that. Yikes. Okay, I, I was trying to time that for right as the saw left. Let's do that again. Like that. Okay, I hesitated. Hesitation. Not good. Especially in Super Meat Boy. Let's just run for it. There we go. Alright, so there's only one saw here. I should, uh, I should title this episode, How to Not Play Super Meat Boy. 
because I have gotten an A plus on every single level except for the Cotton Alley ones. Um, so I, I at one point knew what I was doing. Alright. Let's wait for that saw to go around. There we go. White silhouettes, so pretty. A very calming blue. Alright, last level. Oh, run! Run! There we go. Oh, wait, no. There's more. Oh, this, this saw goes up now. Okay. If I had to say there was one flaw with Super Meat Boy, other than, you know, the technical glitches that happen to every single person who plays it. Oh, man. Uh, it would have to be th that, the, that the soundtrack is so limited. There's only one song per chapter, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, and that's a real bummer. I'm not saying there has to be a, a different song or, you know, piece of music for each in every level. But, uh, you know, I wish there was more. <laughs> I guess that's more of a compliment than a complaint because I really, I really enjoy the music and I just want more of it. Love the warp zones. These oh, these warp zones gave me such hell the first time I played the game. <laughs> they start you off so easy. It's like oh look a rinky dink little uh, level. My grandma could play this in her sleep kind of thing, and then they give you the I want to be the guy level, and then everybody freaking loses it. Speaking of losing, it's also, they make it so frustrating with, with the uh, whole mechanic of you actually get three tries and then you have to start at the beginning. Alright, how do I do this? I don't remember. I think I have to go up here, right? No, I don't have to go up there. Um... There we go! Nice. Let's go, you know, it, it's been a long time. Let's see if I can find the I Wanna Be The Guy level. Where is that? Is it in Rapture? Let's see how many times I could die on that. I believe... The guy, yeah. This is truly hell in video game land. I forgot about these cute little cutscenes, too. So adorable. Hey, little guy! What's going on? I've never played I Wanna Be The Guy. I should probably do that someday. I've heard only good things. Oh, crushed. Okay. Okay. Yep. I remember this. I remember a couple hours of this. So, uh, the guy gets a double jump. Oh, man. Yep. I remember this well. I wish... I wish there was, like, a counter. Oh, that would have been so brilliant if they had included a, um... Like a little mechanic where you could actually see, you know, in the hub world, how much time you, you've spent in each actual level. Alright. Okay. You know, I got, I got to a point where I was in the zone in this level. After several 
deaths. Alright. Let's concentrate. Jump. Nope. Don't jump then. Jump. Don't run into the spikes. No. Nope. I can't remember if I did a little jump in between uh, wall grabs. I might have. So let's try that without dying before we even get there. Man, how did I beat this? The three levels of it. I mean, that's the torture. It's because you, you finally nail, like, this level, and there's two more levels that you have to learn while, like, acing this one, because you only get three tries to do all three levels. So if you nail this one, you still have to beat the other one with those same three lives. There we go. Okay. Man. And this level is a little sparse in the uh, aesthetics department, too, unfortunately. All gray spikes. The purple background is pretty. Alright. Let's focus. Focus, focus, focus. Jump. 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 Okay. Gotta linger on the wall a little more, I think. You could do this. See, this is what I like to see is, you know, all the guys who are speedrunning, they do speedrun any percent. I want to see them... Oh! <laughs> that would have been so beautiful. I want to see them speedrun 100% of the game. Or even just the warp zones. Alright, well, I think I'm going to give it a quit now. Uh, thanks for coming to uh, Super Meat Boy and relaxing with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. And even, even if you never watch any of my videos, it's cool. I'm just kind of ranting here. And I enjoyed ranting. Hey, Meat Boy! Maybe I will do a series where I grind my way through Cotton Alley one of these days. It's the, you know, the only place where I've really not done much. Have I? I've a plus all the light world, except for the last one, which I haven't even beaten. What about the dark world? Nothing. Never beaten any of the dark world levels. Maybe I'll do that someday. Make a little series about grinding my way through Cotton Alley Hell. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, go ahead and give them a like, give them a thumbs up, share them, subscribe. Go to Twitch, follow me on Twitch. I do stream uh, The Sims Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 o'clock uh, Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Um, and if I'm streaming any time other than that, I'm just kind of playing video games for the fun of it, uh, usually with no commentary in order to not bother my wife and daughter. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time.